Hello students, welcome to today's, today's session. In today's session, we shall be discussing one of the question being asked in the session number 17. I am placing a solution of that particular problem where I have talked about in DCD 17th session, I talked about Kenny zero reaction, aldol condensation and ozone analysis. There I asked one question that uh, you need to find out the N factor of benzaldehyde, N factor of benzaldehyde during Kenny zero reaction. So details of this particular reaction you can refer to that particular session. So here I shall be proving this fact that this benzaldehyde underwent a disproportionation reaction and has some N factor and that N factor evaluation has to be done in what way that is what I am going to discuss in today's session. So first uh, let me place it here that if I would like to find out the oxidation states through the bonding. So since oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so from this bond it is carbon is plus 2 and carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen. So, so if I talk of this carbon, the oxidation state, because on both sides this is 0, 0, because on the this side there is a phenylic group. So that is what it is carbon-carbon bond, so the oxidation state from this bond would be 0. So here what we are able to see that the oxidation state of this particular carbon is plus 1. And if I happen to see this one, oxygen being more electronegative than carbon, so oxygen would get a negative charge and here also it is minus 1, sorry, plus 1 and this is minus 1. So this carbon happens to go to plus 3. And if I would see this one, uh, the last one, here carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen. This carbon is also more electronegative than hydrogen, but oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So the carbon would get positive and oxygen would get negative. So this carbon happens to become to minus one. So here what, now I'm placing the definition of disproportionation. Disproportionation reactions are those in which the same element of a compound in same oxidation state, it is in plus one oxidation state happens to go to plus three. If it is undergoing, uh, it is undergoing increase in oxidation state, we tend to say it is oxidation has happened. So this is being oxidized and this goes from plus one to minus one. So it has been reduced. Now, if I would simply place it like this, because the since the reaction already I have written is balanced and uh, uh, you could see that how many benzaldehyde carbons I would be requiring. So there are if I say it like that, there are two carbons. This carbon also comes from the benzaldehyde. This carbon I'm talking of of benzaldehyde. This carbon, it is in plus one. This also is in plus one. Where it went? It went to a carbon which is having plus three oxidation state and this carbon in minus one oxidation state. And from where this carbon we obtained from? We obtained from the benzoate ion and this we obtained from the benzyl alcohol. So this is what we can think it like this also. So here, if it goes from plus one to plus three, so this is acting as a reducing agent. So here it has lost two electrons. And if I place this, uh, this one, this is going from plus one to minus two. That means it has gained two electrons. And that means it is acting as an oxidizing agent. So in a way, how many electrons are being exchanged between the carbons? So the number of electrons which is being exchanged between th these two. Now, if I have to say what is the N factor of this uh, uh, benzaldehyde as reducing agent, as reducing agent, its N factor would be two because one mole is uh, losing two electron and N factor as an oxidizing agent is also two. But since both of these are present in the same molecule of formaldehyde, uh, I mean to say that uh, this is the actual reaction where you have placed the OH negative and would uh, get with a fact that it is going to give you benzo benzoate ion and benzyl alcohol. This is what we have as achieved. So I shall be saying what is the, if I somebody asks you what is the N factor of benzaldehyde as a reducing agent, it would be 2. As an oxidizing agent, it would be 2. But overall that how many, because N factor is what number of electrons lost or gained number of electrons lost or gained divided by number of moles of species or substance taken and if I have 
here I should have written number of moles of electron lost or gained upon number of moles of uh, substance taken or in one more aspect I may also say this is a conventional way of writing the n factor another way also is number of moles of electrons exchanged upon number of moles of substance taken so n factor number of moles of substance taken n factor actually is defined for a substance when it is being taken as per mole so we may say that the n factor of benzaldehyde c6h5cho would be how much how many electrons have been exchanged between two moles of benzaldehyde the number of electrons being exchanged is two because one mole has lost one electron another has gained that electron so the number of exchange of electron where generally people do a mistake that they happen to write it four but no it is two two electrons is being exchanged between the two moles so the n factor came out to be one another way to do it if you don't want to go into that details you can also simply would apply this formula which i have you i am referring to this particular uh, link which is shown in up uh, in the uh, in the video where i have categorically discussed lot many ways to find out the n factor of a disproportionation reactions so here you can also place it at like this n factor can also be defined as n factor of same substance acting as a reducing agent and oxidizing agent multiply that and divide it by the sum of these two that also makes a sense because as an oxidizing agent it lost two electrons as a reducing agent it gained two electron divided by two plus two so this also would give you so this is a formula by which you also could get the answer so i hope you are clear with this and this is quite important that disproportionation reaction is a uh, sorry, Kenizaru reaction is a disproportionation reaction. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay good. Uh, take good care of yourself. Bye bye.